This video is brought to you by Privacy. Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of having your real ones, protecting your identity and banking information on the internet. I had the awesome pleasure of meeting with Derek Jenkins from Lucid Motors to talk about the Lucid Air, their brand new car that they've unveiled a couple of months ago, and get a full walkthrough and see it in person. And I got to tell you, the car, as great as it looks in photos, really pops in real life, especially on the inside. The material choices and the feeling inside is fantastic. But today I want to talk about how they are able to get a 517 mile range out of a 113 kilowatt hour battery pack. That gives them an efficiency of 4.58 miles per kilowatt hour. So how are they able to do this? And that's what I want to talk about today. So let's start by talking about the motors. Lucid uses a permanent magnet synchronous motor. This is very similar to what they use in the Tesla Model 3. It's more efficient than an induction motor. To understand what they're doing here that's very special, let's talk about what electric motors are built with. First, you have a stator, which is the stationary part that doesn't move. And then you have a rotor, which is the actual part that rotates and provides torque. The stator in the electric motor has a bunch of conductive coils running inside of it. And they produce a magnetic field when the current is applied to the battery. By phasing the current with the battery via the wonder box or an inverter, you create a rotating magnetic field. So a permanent magnet motor has fixed magnets on the rotor. And as a result, those permanent magnets will continue to rotate to align with the magnetic field. And if you can phase this and move it fast enough, the motor will start to spin. So the first improvement they've made here is to create this entire assembly and make it really energy dense and very small. They have their motor, the transmission, the differential, and inverter all in one assembly. This makes the Lucid Air motor assembly incredibly energy dense. The entire assembly weighs about 165 pounds while putting out 670 horsepower. That gives it a horsepower to kilogram ratio of 9.1. One downside to the permanent magnet motor is what's known as cogging torque. Again, since you have these permanent magnets, you have the North Poles and the South Poles, they're going to constantly be rotating. And so you'll feel this kind of motion as the cogs align up with the fields. That is different from a induction motor where there are no permanent magnets. So as a result, when the magnetic field is removed, the motor and the rotor just spins freely. So Lucid and Peter Lawson was a little more tight-lipped about this. They have some pretty in interesting IP, I think, that reduces cogging torque to about a third of what is present in other electric motors of this variety. So that reduction in cogging torque is another way that they've achieved that better efficiency. The third part that they have done is probably the part that is the most incredible to me, and that is how they cool the electric motors. So whenever you have a current being passed through a coil, you're going to have heat because there's some internal resistance. Copper is usually used because copper has very low resistance, but there is still some. So as electrons are passing through the wire, it is going to collide with these atoms, the copper atoms, and as a result, they'll start to heat up. And heat is the enemy of conduction, because as a coil heats up, the resistance increases and the efficiency continually decreases. To combat this heat that builds up inside electric motors, most companies take one of two approaches. They wrap the entire motor in a cooling jacket from the outside. Coolant is passed on the outside of the motor and cooling it. And so the heat is sucked out from the outside, which is not exactly where the heat is starting from. The second way is to have cooling channels in the housing and pump coolant through the open passages. That's a little bit of a better approach. But what Lucid is doing is even more impressive. They're calling it an axial jet cooling manifold, and it is in direct contact with the copper windings, cooling them directly. So what this means is that the part of the motor that is making all the heat, the copper windings, is in direct contact with their cooling solution. So this is going to give them the ability to run higher current, make more power, and continue to keep the heat down and lower the resistance as they go. Before we go back to the show, I want to tell you about privacy. As a software engineer, I love this service and I believe in the principle of least privilege, which means a company should have as little information about you as possible. Using your credit cards online means that each company has your info and so would any would-be hackers. 
This happens all the time. In March 2020, Marriott was hacked. Information from over 5 million customers was leaked. With privacy, you create virtual cards that only work for a single merchant. So you can create a virtual card for Netflix. And if any other company tries to use this card, the payment will be automatically declined. If Netflix tries to charge you an extra $100 for some reason, declined. Remember that scene in Friends when Chandler wanted to quit the gym? I want to quit the gym. Well, with privacy, quitting the gym would be as simple as turning off a virtual card. Head over to privacy.com slash tubadavinci and sign up for a free account. As a special treat for our viewers, you'll get a bonus $5 to spend on your first purchase. Go to privacy.com slash tubadavinci and get started today. The next thing I want to talk about is their 900 volt architecture. For a quick summary, watts is equal to current times voltage. So by increasing the voltage, you can lower the current, which is what causes heat and still achieve the same wattage. So let's say you want to have 100 watts to supply power to something. You can do it by either having 100 volts and one amp, or you can do it by having one volt and 100 amps. The difference is the higher the amperage is in the wire, the more heat that you produce and the more inefficient things can get. So the higher the voltage, the better. So what Tesla is currently running is a between 350 and 450 volt architecture. That means their batteries, when they combine them in series and in parallel, create a pack that has a voltage of about 400 volts. In comparison, Lucid is running a 900 volt architecture. That's about twice as much as the Tesla systems, and in line with cars like the Porsche Taycan. What this means is that at this higher voltage, they only have to run half as much current, meaning less heat, less overhead, and better performance and better efficiency. The the common example people use to understand voltage and current is water in a pipe. So if you have a pipe with a really big diameter, the, the flow, the amount of pressure you have to apply to the water to move, the same amount of liquid is lower. Whereas if you have a smaller pipe, you have to have a higher pressure to make the water travel faster to accommodate the same volume of water on the other side. And when you have a higher pressure on the system, you're going to have more drag and you're going to have more losses. And it's kind of the same thing here with electricity. The inverter is also way more efficient at higher voltages. That's why The inverters you have on your solar systems are typically running at a higher voltage because the higher the voltage, the more efficiently they can convert that direct current to alternating current or vice versa. Finally, let's talk about how the car looks and the aerodynamics. This car is really stunning. But one thing I learned talking with Derek Jenkins, who is the chief designer for the Lucid Air, is how much thought went into every detail about this car from the front, the light bar, all the passages to allow inlets for high-speed air to travel and be routed around the vehicle. This car is incredibly slippery. We've also got a lot of localized aero management. We have this duct in the top of the hood that takes in air above the headlight. Um, That air simultaneously cools the headlight, but also creates laminar flow that uh, keeps this turbulent free over the top. Same effect here. High-speed air comes in here. Uh, and the rest of the air comes around the side and it re-merges here and that keeps the side flow super, super clean. Um, Another big advantage is this car is relatively low, right? And obviously a low car close to the ground is going to be more efficient than a tall boxy car. The cooling uh, radiators sit right in front of the wheels here and here and that flow comes in, gets spooled up, and then distribute it over the the cooling. It exits out uh, in the wheel opening, uh, behind the wheel, and then gets sucked out through the wheel. So the the wheel actually extracts the air uh, back out on the side of the car. Uh, Kept the the chin really low, a lot of contouring here um, to to manage airflow. Obviously the bottom of the car is totally smooth, so we've worked really hard to keep that clean. And as as the air passes past the battery, it starts to contour up, and that makes a nice exit flow between the rear wheels off the back diffuser. The Lucid Air achieves an amazing 0.21 drag coefficient, and that is a measure of how efficiently a car can pass through the air. To put that into perspective, the Lucid Air has a drag coefficient of 0.21, the Tesla Model S is 0.23, and the Porsche Taycan is 0.22. 
quite frankly. I think we could have got slightly below that. But, you know, there's some trade-offs with aesthetics and with functionality that you have to make. Um, you know, we didn't want the car to look overtly winged and bladed and, and so on. And, you know, elegance is still a huge priority for us. Um, so we're super proud of those numbers because the car looks sporty, it looks elegant, and it's, it's the most efficient luxury sedan of all time. The second thing they've worked on is the frontal area. So the drag coefficient and the frontal area gives you your drag on the vehicle. So the smaller the frontal area and the lower the drag, the more efficient the car will pass through the air. The Model S has a width of 86.2 inches and a height of 56.9 inches. The air is 76.7 inches wide and only 55.5 inches tall. It is almost 10 inches thinner than the Model S and about an inch shorter. So this means that it has a smaller frontal area. So when you combine all their efficiency improvements in the battery pack and in the battery tech, how the batteries are cooled with the aerodynamic advantages and the wonder box and the higher voltage architecture and their electric motor assembly and how they cool it, that's how they get their 17% more efficient number compared to their competition. So that is what I would like to call their secret sauce. And I'm covering this because I think it's really important that we highlight the amazing, cool stuff that's happening by companies around the world in the EV space. Think about the Silk Road or the Library of Alexandria, where people with different ideas and different backgrounds got together and learned and pushed the envelope. And when that happens, we all win because we further our understanding and get better and better at this. We're still in the early days and currently we have one standout company, Tesla. And I believe they're going to be joined by Lucid and Rivian will be the next two big players that will really push us forward. And all of them have their own ideas and their own opinions and their different approaches to things. Rivian has that trank tread turning mode where they can make a complete circle in place, which is amazing. No one's ever been able to do that with a car before because you have discrete motors on each wheel. Tesla's done pretty much, they were the pioneers. They've gotten us this far. Lucid has really great improvements that they have on the pipeline as well. The end result is we'll have more competition and the prices will come down. When Tesla unveiled some of their pricing, Lucid adjusted their prices. When Lucid showed their speed around Laguna Seca, the Tesla team worked on their prototypes for the Plaid Model S, and this is exactly what I want to see. I love Lucid, and I love what they're doing, and I was really honored to be able to talk to their CEO, and now their chief designer. I will be having a tour of their factory, and I hope you guys will join me for that because it's really going to be an amazing thing to see. But the Lucid factory is ready in Arizona, and they'll be building cars starting next year. So very exciting. One of the companies I'm going to be looking at in terms of their IPO coming up, and just generally, I'm super excited about it. So I hope that helps. Big shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon. If you love what we do and you want to support the show, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Only about one in 10 of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. So let's, let's fix that. Let's make that 20%. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button, help us out. And we have a bunch of other stuff that you guys should check out if you're interested in more stuff about EVs and Lucid. So we'll have videos all around. We hope you check it out and we'll catch you guys on the next one.